Hi, this is me Santosh and I welcome you all for a new video of Quantitative Techniques. In this video, we are going to learn about one of the most prominent non-parametric tests which is known as Kruskal-Wallis Edge Test. Kruskal-Wallis Edge Test is a rank sum test. Basically, these rank sum tests are a non-parametric alternative to test a hypothesis that two more populations are right and equal. That is, in this case, if the data sets available are continuous or ratio scale, we will convert it into ordinal scale. Kruskal Wallis test enables us to determine whether independent samples have been taken from the same population or from different population with the same mean of distribution. This test is an alternative to a parameter test known as analysis of variance test. In that case, we will use the hypothesis that the two populations are identical. That is, in ANOVA's test, we take the assumptions that the populations are normal distribution and if that conditions were not met, we will use Kruskal Wallis edge test. So the basic assumptions of this test are the samples are randomly selected and the samples are independent. The original variable which followed is a continuous variable and the two population drawn are identical. To compare the effectiveness of three types of weight reducing diets, a homogeneous group of 22 women was divided into three subgroups and each followed one of these diet plans for three months. The weight reduction in kilograms were recorded as follows. That is, in case of diet 1, the weight reduced was recorded for 0.2, 3.1, 2.6, 6.1, 4.9, for and 3.8. Diet 2, 5.2, 7.3, 8.2, 5.4, 6.6, 7.1, 8.4. .6, in case of diet 3, 1 1.3, 2.0, 2.6, 3.0, 1.4, 0.6, 4.2, 3.4, 0 0.2 respectively. The test whether the three diet plans are alike at 5% level of significance. So in this case, three observations were given such as diet 1, diet 2 and diet 3. First of all, we have to put all the observations in ascending order. That is from lowest to highest. So I'm going to write it on here. 0.2 and 8.4. Well, as I finished. So what I'm going to do is to, um, okay, I'm going to put the ranks on the basis of this. That is... Uh, for 0 0.02, I'm going to put 1 and 0 0.62, 1.33, 1 1.44, and 2.5, and 2.6. Oh, oh, there are two observations uh, with the mean of 2.6. That is, I'm going to apply average method, that is 6.5, and 8, 9, 10, 11. And in case of uh, 4.2 also, I'm going to apply the average method, that is 12 plus 13 by 2, that is 12.5, 12.5. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 and 22. So I send all uh, ranks for all these observations. And next I have to find out from which type plans or which observations, which sample set these observations were came. And in the question we can see that this uh, point 0.2 comes from with diet 3 plan, that is I'm going to put S3 and in case point 0.6 also S3, 1.3 also S3, 1.4 also S3 and I'm going to continue with that. So next we are going to make a summarized rank table from these all values. So I'm going to make a summarized table but I don't have enough space uh, in this area so what I'm going to do is to make a horizontal table that is for S1, S2 and S3. So rank 1 belongs to S3, so I'm going to write 1 under S3 and 2 belongs to S3, so 2 and in case of 3 also belongs to S3, 4 also belongs to S3 and 5 also belongs to S3 and in case of 6.5 rank it belongs to X1, that is 6.5 I'm going to put and in case of us, next 6.5 belongs to S3 and 8 belongs to S3. 9 belongs to S1, 10 belongs to S3, 11th rank belongs to S1, 12.5 belongs to S1 and 12.5 belongs to S3 and 14 belongs to S1 and 15 belongs to S2 and 16 also belongs to X2 and 17 belongs to S1, 18, 19, 20, 21 and 22. These all belongs to S2. And the total uh, 74 S1 that is known as R1 and 131 for S2 that is R2 and 52 for S3 that is R3. And in case uh, the total number of observation is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 for S1 that is N1 is equal to 6 and N2 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and N3 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The null hypothesis of Kruskal-Wallis test is that 
mu1 is equal to mu2 is equal to mu3 that is already hypothesis will be mu1 not equal to mu2 not equal to mu3 in this case they have asked that whether the type plans are identical or not so my hypothesis is that type plans are identical and the alternative hypothesis is diet plans are not identical so in order to test this hypothesis we have to use the formula of cross scale values that is 12 divided by n into n plus 1 r1 square divided by n1 plus r2 square divided by n2 plus rk square divided by nk minus 3 into n plus 1 so let's apply this value into this equation. So we will get 12 divided by the n is 22 observations where so 22 will be the value of n that is 22 plus 1 n plus 1 into r1 70 so 70 square divided by n16 plus r2 131 131 square divided by 7 plus r352 and 52 square divided by 9 minus 3 into 22 plus 1. So this is the way we are uh, going to solve this problem. By solving this, we will get the value 15.58 as was the calculated value of H for Kraskel values test. And we have to compare this value with the table value. For that purpose, we have to take the table value of chi square at a degree of freedom 2. In this case, degree of freedom is calculated by using n minus 1, that is total observation, the type plans was 3 and minus 1, 2 at 5% level of significance. So the critical value of chi-square for 2 degree of freedom at 5 level of significance is 55.99 and the calculated value is 15.58. Since the calculated value is very less than the critical value, we have to reject the null hypothesis and accepting the alternative hypothesis and we are stating that the tight plans are not identical in this case. In this video, we have learned about the practical application of Kraskal-Wallis H-Test. Hope you get it. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.